purpose of life is a luxury. And it is, it is made possible by great, great material well-being. Uh, so our, our material well-being is, is the condition of possibility for our spiritual life. But, it, but we've mistaken the condition of possibility for something else, for the thing itself. We think the material life is the thing. It is the end. And instead of thinking of it as a means to an end, we think of it as the end. And we've gotten diverted. We've gotten diverted from our mission. We, we've, we've forgotten and we've gotten diverted. So my job is just to, you know, remind you. And then your job is to stop being diverted, you see. I can't, I can't undivert you. You see, I can't undivert you. I can't, I can't come and follow you all home and make sure that you're not wasting hours and hours and hours and hours on your life, of your life, of this precious life, doing meaningless things, things that don't matter. Or things, even worse, things that are harmful to yourself and others. I can't do that. Uh, I can't police you. But I can remind you of what you know you should be doing, actually. What you know you should be doing. And, and so I'll remind you right now that what, one thing that you shouldn't be doing is sitting around watching four hours of television a day. <laughs> on average. means On average means some people in this, in this tent, under this tent, are watching a lot more than that a day. And that's a, just a total waste of this life. Total waste. Remember the stats? By the age of 65, the average person will have been watching television nine years of their life. Nine years of a life of 65 years. It's a total, it's a tragedy. It's a tragedy. So wake up, yo. Wake up. Turn it off. Wake up and turn off. It's kind of like tune in, turn on, turn on. Wake up, turn off. <laughs> Wake up to the realities here of, of the facts that, you know, we only got so many, we only have so many hours actually, and a finite number of hours in, in this life. And nine years of a 65 year, year lifespan spent watching television? It's insane. We're insane. We're mental. We're, we're really ser seriously, seriously crazy. Uh, so, you know, we do have to wake up. You have to have somebody come once in a while and go, shh, 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 shh. Uh, you know, wake up. You know, like, in the, like in those old, like, 40s movies where, you know, people got hysterical and then, like, Humphrey Bogart came and whacked them around a little bit. And I think, yeah, you know, like, I sometimes feel like Humphrey Bogart, you know? I feel, feel like, you know, shh, 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 shh. come on, what are you doing? What are we doing? Four hours a day, come on. And it's not like you're sitting around watching spiritual stuff on TV four hours a day, I'll tell you that. You see, it's not helpful. It's not helpful to you. The only thing that's helpful to you in this life is the spiritual path. That's the only, the only refuge we're talking about this afternoon. The only refuge you have is the spiritual path. The money isn't a refuge. The things aren't a refuge. The consumer items are not a refuge. They're not going to help you. They're not, they're not helping you. They're not helping. The, uh, the, the time we spend on the job is no help. It's... We have, to, we have to do our jobs, we have to you know, make some money, but don't get diverted. Don't get diverted and think that somehow the job, the profession, the career is the point. It's not the point. You've got, you got a larger mission than that. You've got a larger mission than to get really, really good as being a plumber or a lawyer. See, bigger mission. Your mission, your mission you know, in this life, and the reason that you've got the conditions that you've got in this life is to fulfill your mission. And that mission is to finish her off. Finish it off in this life means to perfect yourself spiritually. To perfect, spiritually means, to perfect yourself spiritually means to become a truly happy person. To, to, become, to enter bliss. To enter into bliss. And we go, bliss? Dude, bliss. That sounds good. Uh, you know. Uh, but we don't really have much experience with bliss. You know? We, we're, we're not, we're not anywhere close to bliss, usually. We're, 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 we're not even content yet. And you can't, be, you can't achieve the highest goal of ecstasy and bliss until you're content, at least. So the first thing to do is to get content, to, to learn to be content. And uh, you will never be content watching four hours of television a day. I, I'm, I'm thoroughly content, unless you're a very, very ex extraordinary person who is somehow just not influenced by what you're putting fr in front of your mind. And, and I, I think actually that includes nobody. Uh, we are influenced by what we put in front of our mind. And there's, you know, like I said before, there's two shows on TV. There's the awful show, and that's all the drama shows, all the police shows, the awful. This is awful. You know, killing, people killing each other for your amusement. Stories of sexual uh, crime that you can watch while you're, you know, sipping your Coke, you know. Uh, it's awful. 
News, the news is the same. And uh, we, have, we have been convinced, we've gotten convinced, we've convinced ourselves, and the powers of be have convinced us also, that somehow there's some kind of intrinsic good in just being informed all the time about stuff. Like, information has some kind of inherent goodness to it. So just knowing about, you know, all the problems that are going around, all over, you know, all over the, you know, the locale, the state, the country, and the world, is that somehow good, to just know that. So, oh, no, no, I, I, I have to watch CNN all the time. I have to find, watch the news and so on. Why? Why do you need to know that? Are you unconvinced that the, that the people around the world are suffering? Are you unconvinced of that yet? Are you, do you, and if so, then maybe you should watch it. Maybe you should just watch it. You should spend two days and just watch straight, CNN, straight. And so you convince yourself, yeah, it's suffering everywhere. Everyone's suffering. There's suffering in Sub-Saharan Africa. There's suffering in Rockport. And there's suffering everywhere in between. There's suffering in tropical paradises where there's palm trees. There's suffering with palm trees. There's suffering in French-speaking countries, suffering in French. There's suffering in Spanish, countries, Spanish. It's just all suffering. And, and, and then turn it off. Because if you don't intend to do anything about it, why do you need to know about it? All right? If you want to do something about it, then definitely inform yourself. Okay? If you want to like, you know, go and help people in Sub-Saharan Africa, then inform yourself, definitely. Inform yourself of their situation, inform yourself so that you'll be able to help them. But if you're just watching it to be informed, you know, there's a, we, we've even like constructed a word for this, infotainment. Yes. It's just an entertainment. It's just another form of entertainment. And it's perverse. It's sick. It's sick to be entertained uh, by other people's suffering. That's perverse. That's not, a, that's not a healthy way to live. That's a toxic way to live. So, and, we're in your, and, and it's just inuring us. It's inuring us to the suffering of others. By watching it on TV, it becomes just another show. I suggested to people, uh, you know, one of these nights, I forget which, uh, that it would be, I think, impossible for this nation to be involved in a war for six years, for the, for the populace to allow a war to go on for six years, had we not been watching four hours of TV on average. See, it, it's because we are sick, it's because we are watching this stuff over and over and over again as entertainment, that we find it tolerable to spend billions and trillions of dollars bombing other people to, to smithereens. That we, can, that we can put up with that. That we, that we don't like stay up all night, you know, with our conscience, you know, keeping us awake and, you know, because we're inured. We're living a toxic life. We're living a life of toxicity, intellectual toxicity, spiritual toxicity. So first thing, I mean, I think this is, a, this is something, uh, if, if, if there, one person in this audience turns off the TV as a result of these nightly harangues, more or less, <laughs> then we'll be have, it will have worked, been worth it. I get emails, actually, I, you know, from people saying, you know, I just wanted to tell you that after listening to that harangue over and over again, I finally said, well, maybe we should turn off our TV, and our lives have improved dramatically. Our family life has improved dramatically. The kids aren't so wacky, you know. <laughs> Everyone's happier. Try it. It's very easy. You, you, you know, all, it's not a matter actually of, even of turning it off. It's not turning it on. So it's not actually that you actually have to do anything. You just have to not do something. You just have to not go, shh, shh, click, see, and just try it. And yeah, don't, don't hurt yourself. Take it slow. Uh, just uh, try it a day at a time, like one day. Like maybe just say, you know, on Sundays, on Sundays we don't watch TV in our household. On Sundays we just turn off the TV. And have it start with a moratorium. One, one day a week, moratorium on television. Uh, the, the figures on this are astounding. I won't go into them again. Uh, but if you actually you know, do any kind of research on it, the number of acts of violence that we're watching uh, on a daily basis, is, you know, and, and cumulatively, as they add up over days and weeks and years, is just astounding. And, uh, and it's just actually entertainment. We're just watching it. As, we're watching other people suffering for entertainment. So that's the first thing. That's a, that's a very easy, easy way to just start being happier. You'll be a happier person, you have a happier family life. It's not doing your children any good to have the TV on for... Actually, the average person is watching four hours plus a day. The average, the average household has the television on six, six plus hours a day. Or some, some uh, surveys say about seven hours. So the television in the average household is on six or seven hours a day with somebody watching it. 
And uh, if you know your kids are being exposed to this toxicity, it can't be good for them. There's no way. To, it's not. It's irresponsible as a parent to let your kids watch TV. I'll just put it like that. Okay? It's just irresponsible. So stop. Just don't do that. You'll be happier. Your kids will be happier. They won't thank you immediately. I bet. <laughs> but eventually they will. I think eventually they will. There will come a time if you if you start and you say like you know we just don't watch TV in this household anymore. There will come a time where they'll come back and thank you. Thank you. Thank you for saving me from, from you know, from, I think, 200,000. By the time that a kid, average kid is 18, they have seen 200,000 acts of violence on television. How can that not affect them, you see? How can that, how can that make for a happy life for your kids?